Hey guys, it's me Tatum with Just Ask Tatum. And y'all know I get a lot of topics. And uh, tonight, I want to talk about a topic about women empowering women. It don't happen like that. Women love to tear each other down. And you want me to tell you what's the biggest part of that is? The big J word, jealousy. <clears throat> when you're someone's friend, if y'all ever, if, if you know me or if you don't know me, if my friend accomplishes something, the first thing I'm going to say is, hey, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of what you've done. But when you got somebody that don't talk to you or you hear they're talking about you or, you know, they don't never tell you they're proud of you, they don't never compliment you, nine times out of ten, they ain't your friend. They talking behind your back. I know you're probably like, well, Tatum, how do you know that they're talking behind your back? Well, if they was a true friend, why wouldn't they brag on you? Why wouldn't they tell you that they're proud of you? Why would they never compliment you? If you come in a room, now, if I come in a room and I ain't got on no makeup, my bitch at the barn, and I got goat shit on my leg or on my face or, you know, baby, am I right? If I got something like that on me and you on say, the side of your face. the side of my face, I has, that's a true story. And you look at me and say, Tatum, you look beautiful. Don't lie to me. You ain't got to lie to me to be my friend, okay? You ain't got to tell me I look good because I know good and well I look like a bunch of hog shit, okay? So, <clears throat> FYI on that, don't tell me I look good when you know I don't. I would rather you look at me and say, Tatum, is that goat shit on the side of your face? Girl, get your tail in there and take a bath. That's a true friend. Not someone who would rather tell you a lie than be truthful. It, it, it just don't work like that. And there's a saying one time, and it's so funny about this because it's an ex of mine that actually told me this saying one time, and I can't even stand him. The thought of him makes me want to throw up. But this was the only thing he ever said to me that stuck with, stuck with me. And it was... Why would you not want to stand on the ground and tell the truth? Why would you rather stand on a tree and a limb on a tree and tell a lie? Let me say that right. Why would you want to stand on a limb and the top of a tree that could break at any moment to tell a lie when you can just stand flat footed on the ground and tell the truth? Does anybody understand that? Because I don't. It don't make no sense whatsoever to me. Just be honest with your friends. If you cannot be truly happy for them, if you can't ever compliment them, if they have more money than you or they have something that you want, but you don't, you know, want, but they have it and you don't, it's like this. Some people get things given to them. That ain't none of your business. Some people work their tail off to get what they get. That ain't none of your business if they had to work for it. You should just be truly happy. You know, that's what the moral of the story is. But <clears throat> I'm going to tell you something. People ask me to, Tatum, you, didn't that girl talk behind your back? And I looked at one of my friends one day and I said, yeah. I said, well, I know she didn't say it in my face. And they're like, well, I said, well, she's standing there, ain't she? She didn't tell me in my face. But you know what? I've got older now, and if somebody says something about me, even if they do have the, the guts to tell me to my face, I laugh about it. Because if they got that much time on their hands to pick, nick, pit everything they don't like about their friend, that's probably why you about the only friend they got left, because they done run all the other friends off. But misery also does love company. So if somebody is miserable and they get around you all the time and they always just miserable or, I mean, they need a wheelbar to tote their lips in because they're sagging to the darn ground because they're stepping on them because they're so pouty all the time. Yeah, that's a country slang to say it. But you don't need to be around a person like that. Fill your life with positivity, not negativity. Fill your life with someone, your friends, that you can be around and you can laugh and you can smile and you know truly without a shadow of a doubt. You can't wait to get home because this is what happened to you today and you can call them and tell them.
they're going to be happy for you. And you can't wait to tell them. Do you want a friend that you're scared to call? And I've had them friends before. My husband, is that not a truth? And my husband used to get on to me because I wouldn't want to tell them things that I did or I achieved. And my husband would say, baby, why, why are you being like that? Why wouldn't your friend be happy for you? And just the moral of the story, before I keep going on and on like I can do, okay? Country, I'm southern, and that's just how it is. Y'all know how we say bless your little heart. I ain't never really say bless your little heart. Have you ever really heard me say that? I say kiss my ass. That's what I say. I mean, I'm just blunt like that. Y'all know me. I, I'm a sweetheart. and But I ain't, I ain't too good to say ass or shit a damn. You know, I just tell it like it is. But the moral of the story is, guys, seriously, surround yourself with friends that you can laugh with and love and they're kind of like your significant other in certain ways like that you're happy to tell things with you want to be able to share things with them and, and be like you know they're happy for me you know what i mean so like it's a good time and people that you can go on trips with if it's a girl's trip or it's a couple's trip you just have a good time you do not want to be around somebody that's just freaking miserable trust me so the ending of this is for the ones that has asked me about this you know what do we do with a friend that's like this as bad as i hate to tell you i really don't hate to tell you but i'm just saying that to make it look a little bit better <laughs> get them out of your life you know just go ahead and cut the cord cut them out because you're going to become miserable and negative because you're surrounding yourself with that. So, surround people that are happy for you. And when you achieve something, they're there for you. And they're happy. They're not talking behind your back. Because you don't want them kind of people around events or stuff like that. So, y'all know I have a lot of acquaintances. And I have a couple of friends. And I have a very one hand how many best friends I got. So, there's a reason for that. So, to all my best friends, I love you guys. Thank you for, you know, being there for me and, you know, supporting me. Because it means a lot. And I'm glad I, back years ago, I cut all them bands out. Okay? So, I love you guys. That's all tonight for Just Ask Tatum. And please, guys, you don't have to take my advice. But just take a minute to take it in. Okay?